Hello friends and welcome to our Wednesday show. Today we have a fun show for you that hopefully will give you some information you do not have and provide some usefulness and some additional uh, life to some batteries that you might have thought are well gone and dead. So stick around and see what we've planned. As you can see here, we have a very old car battery and it has been here in the garage, what do you think, about a year or two or more? Mm, at least a couple years, yeah. And uh, we're going to put a multimeter on it to show you that it is well past its prime. No, that's not the multimeter. It's over there. It's over there. The multimeter is over there. And Jan is over here. Can you hold it in front of the camera? Can you chew gum and walk at the same time? Sometimes. Alright. Is it on, on V? On DC? Yeah. So we have it on voltage, DC, which is the correct setting. And this battery reads... 1.375. So, not enough to do much of anything. It reads the same voltage as a AAA battery, right? 1.5. And, and to show you the point that there is not no. much... Oh, you turn it off? No, you need to, don't you? No. Okay. I need to put that. Don't you want to do this? I do need to do this, you're correct. <laughs> so... <coughs> so, this is the trickle charger? No, that does everything. Okay. It's a trickle charger, but it's also a... We'll put it on the tent. This is a battery charger. Mm -hmm. But all battery chargers, including this one, must detect a minimum voltage before they charge. So we're going. I don't know if you. We're going to attach it and see if we start our battery. And as you can see, we see no indication that this is willing to charge the battery. Willing? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what we're going to do? We have here a a DC power supply. And we're going to provide power to show that, to trick that circuit into thinking that there is enough battery to charge. So we're going to disconnect this because it doesn't even recognize the battery. And we are going, here will be the difficulty. I need to hold that here, but I also need to be changing the setting. Thank you. What is it doing? Nothing. Yeah. That's weird. So we've set up our DC supply to 12.9 volts and we're going to directly attach it to the battery. And we're going to wait for a few minutes. We're not going to make you wait looking at us holding the battery. But we should get some voltage in just a few minutes and we'll come back and show right, you. Friends, that. five minutes have passed and we're out by the battery. And if you see, we actually have amps where before we have like 0.1 amp or 0.2 amps, right? Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do now, and we might have to do that for a little longer, but we're going to disconnect the DC power supply. And let's see if the battery has any voltage now. Can you see it or you need to hold it? Holding it is better. All right. And I will remove those so people don't think we're cheating. So nothing is con connected to the battery. Is it on DC? I don't know, nothing's in focus on the Oh, there we go. There we go. And the battery is up to 1174, mm -hmm. which should be enough to allow the charger to work. Let's see, will it? You probably have to. I need, uh, I need you? Yeah. I wasn't feeling that need. Well, if you want power, that's what you gotta do. Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. So, if it accepts the battery as a battery, this light should come on red, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So you. And as you see, we are, this is accepting charge, where before it wasn't recognized the battery, so it was only five minutes, well, we probably should have left the clock or something to show people, right? Mm -hmm. But it was only five minutes. That green, when it's a full charge, okay? And now we're going to have to trickle charge this battery because it has been without the charge for so long. But this battery now can be used for thing, cut point. So from this point on, we'll need to trickle charge this battery and see how much uh, voltage will it hold. And uh, we might use it for uh, Lichtenberg figures, something that I want to experiment with. You can use it for a lot of things actually, electrolysis. Probably I will not use it in the car because it will not be a reliable battery. It will, it, it reaches the, the voltage now that actually will start the car, a small car. It's a small battery, it came out of a, a small Honda if I recall, right? But in any case, if you have an old battery that you think is dead, I have successfully revived batteries with this method before. And this is just a method that will bring new life to your dead batteries. Now you do need to have some form of uh, DC source, power source, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot use AC, please don't use AC, you're going to kill yourselves. It has to be DC and preferably above 12 volts. I mean, we were just above, but it only took five minutes. I mean, the last time I did it, I did that 15 volts and it was almost immediate. The, the, the battery took charge and the charger was able to to do things, right? Mm -hmm. This is a technical term. To do things. To do things, right. This is not connected to a car, so it doesn't want to do, no. doesn't want to do things. <laughs> more do things. <laughs> no more things. <laughs> anyway. Well, folks, this is our short show for today. We hope you enjoyed this short episode, and if you did, please smash that like button. It really means a lot. Share, like, subscribe, and comment, and we will continue bringing you fun ideas, informative hacks, and ways that you can reuse your material. We've become a throw-away society. I almost said the throw-up society. <laughs> Sometimes that too. <laughs> so I like to find ways to reuse material, and most certainly, this is one of those things. Uh, before you disregard your battery, definitely this is worth more, like the core, more than the core charge of the battery to me. Because I can do experiments with this battery and I can do other things. That doesn't mean I will keep the other battery I have. Okay. I'm getting a look because I have another dead battery. Uh, that needs to go. That needs to go. We had a, a battery epidemic in our fleet. Uh -huh. I don't even remember anymore how many batteries we had to replace this year. Uh, let's see. One, two, three for five so far this year of the fleet of eight functioning cars. Mm -hmm. But in any case, uh, thank you for joining us. Let us know if you want to see more uh, episodes of this style. And we appreciate your continuing support. From the Garage Wizard. Alpida. And the uh, uh, Urban Homesteading Channel. We wish you a great week and we're going to see you on Sunday with a very fun and special build episode.